Tater, what's going on, baby? Top four, good job. Thank you, my friend. We actually secured some prize money, I swear. I don't know how much prize money we get for fourth, but it's prize money nonetheless, baby. Send me the check, Blizzard, right now, all right? That one's going to the uh, electricity bill, most likely. Guys, I, I gotta I gotta say straight up, I gotta give this one to the team. Carl and Wiz did a really fucking showed up, all right? <laughs> they really showed up. These were, these were probably... Probably of my 15 years of playing WoW and my like five to ten years of playing competitively These this might have been the worst day of World of Warcraft. I have ever experienced in my entire life I don't think anything could have gone any more wrong The one good thing about our team dynamic is that like Usually when when we're playing games and things are kind of going wrong uh, Carl and Wiz are one to talk it out real quick uh, But when I'm when I really f up uh, and everyone really knows it and I really know it the team is is smart enough to not sit there and just say, hey, Jason, you're playing f***ing awful. What's wrong with you? You got to stop this. We're losing solely because of you. They don't say that uh, because I already know. And they know too because we're losing. And it's like, oh, they're not doing anything wrong. But this is totally my fault. So, yeah, it was good that they didn't do any of that because they're like, apparently Carl and Wiz were like, they were like, they didn't really say anything after the first two losses. They were just kind of like. <laughs> Carl's like, you know, I'm just not going to say anything because, you know, he's going to turn it around. He's going to figure it out here and bring it back. And thank God. But it has been at a loss for words. Wiz, listen. All right. Okay, guys. Like, we fought c team today, right? And um, and we lost 3-0. Uh, but we can say, even though we did lose 3-0 to c uh, uh, you know, we, we, put, we put a series on him. You know what I'm saying? We put a series on him. I mean... It, I felt personally that they had to have been scared that something was, you know, they that it could have just been, you know, turned around on them real quick. But C to beat us 3-0. Okay, so we're in the loser's bracket. We get knocked down. I mean, we play three games here. We just get just a tough series. We had a, we had a close game against Thug Cleave. We really almost like, if we look at the Thug Cleave game, I mean, we, we really stuck it to them, this Thug Cleave game, I think. We were actually about to just really make some magic happen here. So if I go into the, the Thug Cleave game... We'll just show you like the, the last ending clip here of kind of how it went down for us. Okay, yeah. So like we're, we're like we get an open or a thugly game. We're down 2-0 in the series. We go for the send. Vince, uh, fat fingers, stun on the priest. He's like, okay, let's go priest. Let's switch priest. I'm like, yeah, I'm in there. I throw my bomb, and then Trill, uh, Trill actually decides to walk on top of us and spinning crane kick and triple kill us immediately through everything. And this was how our series ended versus CD. We're all here at about uh, you know 20%, 20 percent, 20 30 percent. And uh, and I get I get kicked after that, and we die instantly. So that's basically the summary right there. What happened to Versidu? That pretty much happened every single game, uh, and it was just uh, it was it was filthy. It was ridiculous. So yeah, that was fucked up. But that is not what we're here to talk about, baby. All right. And so then we got moved into the lower bracket, and we fought Calvish. So we didn't know what Calvish was gonna queue. We assumed that they were gonna queue uh, Mage Rogue because Calvish is supposed to be the best Mage Rogue in NA, right? It's uh, Calvish, Kearney, and Nuked. I don't know if they have a fourth or not. I'm not sure, but they mainly just play this. So I didn't know they'd go to Q-Monk. We're thinking they're going to play Mage Rogue. We're thinking, okay, Mage Rogue. We talked about this for like five to ten minutes. What the opener was, I planned out everything perfectly. I had it down to a science. I had it down to a T. I told the team, this is exactly what's going to happen. I need you to do this, that. I'm going to run in. I'm going to press this button, this button, this button. And it's going to be flawless. And we're going to win in maybe 10 seconds, maybe 20. So we get in. We see they're playing. We see they're playing the Monk Mage Healer. It's like, okay, you know, we've seen this. We've seen this comp before. This is not the worst thing in the world. I don't know if I should have my camera right here and make it smaller or something. But but basically, we're here and we're going Let's in. So test here. the uh, idea are, um... of what was going on was I was going to run in. I was going to sap the Monk. Then, oh, turn off captions. I was going to sap the Monk. And then I was going to blind the priest. And then I was going to open on the monk. That was the general idea. So the monk couldn't like, you know, pre-fort brew, pre-diffuse, pre-aegis, you know, ring of peace, kite away, you know, port, whatever, anything. Um, of the move, but uh, please let us know in the chat. Uh, oh, that's right. One in the chat right now. Oh, and, see, uh, Zico, see, Zico's room for the movie knows what's going on. So here's how this opener goes. So I'm like, all right, guys, just sit back for a sec. I got this. In number one. Absolutely. Shaman, by the way. Oh no. Okay. So according to our game plan here, this is good. This is step one where I got the sap on the monk. I'm not knocked out of stealth. They don't see me. And then something happens here. Something goes wrong. This was like, 
So I didn't get a lot of sleep, and we just played this war game that was hella annoying, and the first series was kind of tilting. So we run in this game, I get the sap, and then I go oh, I guess, oh, I guess for the blind on Kearney, right? I get the I get the blind sap. This looks pretty fucking good here. This is like, oh my god, I'm gonna get the Mark for Death Kenny Vendetta. And instead, I actually auto-attacked the guy that was sapped. If we can look, we see the sap break. And then this is where it all fucking crumbles. So Windwalker. This I don't even know I don't even know how that happened or what went on. I don't know if Carl broke it. I don't know if Wiz broke it, but the sap breaks and he ports away instantly. And I'm sitting there like, hmm, guys, this is this is Cosmo. Think of that reset. I'm just thinking, wow, I really fucked this up. This is you think Wiz broke it? <laughs> He's mounted up running in. So yeah, I get the blind sap. I break the sap. He ports away. And then I'm sitting there like, uh, what the fuck, guys? What's going on? And then he disarms me as I get around the wall, and I've used step, and I'm sitting there. I'm pretty committed. Luke, what's going on, man? So this is going horrible. Uh, I'm disarmed. My blind does nothing. I got no opener. I get in-capped off disarm. We get double leg swept, and he fears. I'm fainting. I'm running away. I've got no kidney shot, and then I'm like, okay. We're 30 seconds into the game, and... So far, we've done absolutely nothing. I've kidney nothing. I've touched nothing, and I've hit nothing. I've got a kidney shot off. I don't think I've even fucking dotted him yet, and this is just disgusting. So, I just kidney back here. We get a grip. I'm like, okay, yeah, we're fighting back. We got a grip or something. This is not bad. Still down at half, waiting for. And then we just gotta wait it out. I'm just sheathed in the middle of the map somehow. They switched to me. I think I maybe evasion here. Now swapping back to Peekaboo. It looks like Calvish is flexing doubles when here, so using an interesting legendary, but gets kidney shot up. I have a guy I got I actually got a vendetta kidney here. So it's like coming back a little bit, right? God, these first two games were just so bad. I don't I you know, it doesn't look as bad when I watch it back, but it felt really bad. I mean, this this is pretty bad. I think he fists like a kidney or two in this one too. I think I kidney actually. Oh, I, oh, I, yeah, I shrink it here too. Oh my god! So he's like dying, and then he gets guardian and karmas, and I actually trinketed disarm to try to kidney him, and he actually runs away because I I like hesitated on the trinket, and then I'm like. Holy shit, I just committed Trinket versus Mage Monk, and I did nothing with it. So I walk in, act like I'm going to kill him with this kidney. I shivved him. Blom would get the fear. I sepsis him, and he's just full HP. This is just horrible. Hey, save that resub. We get legs up, we get gripped away. We use life swips. Oh, oh my god. So we, I, I, because I trinket eventually, I had stuck in the leg sleep. We grip. Life swap and link. Oh my god. Chad. Look at Carl. Look at Carl's face, bro. Look at Carl. Carl has this thing when he dies, he just. He's, it's like he's. What is he looking at? What's he doing, man? Just sit sit, the, sit back down, Carl. Stop, quit. Stop doing that. First game. First game. I broke the sap. I didn't get a kidney for like a minute. I wasted trinket. And then we died literally immediately after I drink it offensively. I get swept. We, we stack swap and link and they actually tab target Carl and fucking kill him. Let me just play that back. Look at the sequence of events here. So look, we're right here. We're right here. He's fisting me. I have trinket. He disarms me. I was going to trinket kidney him right here. But I hesitate. So I trinket late and he gets the karma before I kidney. And then I bomb Cessus and nothing happens. And he's full HP. And I'm like, dude, I just triggered this as fuck. And then he sweeps me like, yeah, he sweeps me right now. Right after I just trinketed. And I'm like, I'm fucking dead, guys. This is it. I'm dead. I'm dead as fuck. I need help right now. I need help. I need something. Wiz grips me. Life swap, link overlap. And then they tab target to Carl right here and just one shot him. And that was our first game of the series. So that game was awful. You guys saw the opener. I ran in. I broke my own sap. Like I'm 1500 rated. Literally auto attacked that shit, and it was fucked. It was horrible. It was like the war. It was like the worst thing ever. So we get into this next game, and I'm like, okay, guys, you know, I fucked this up. That won't happen again. And then, and then we go into game two, and then I'm like, okay, yo, I'm gonna try the same opener, and it's gonna be sick, and it's gonna be insane. 
Because I always had the fear that like Kearney would just do something to stop the opener. And I'm like, hmm, I probably shouldn't do the same opener every single game in a row. But I thought that after this game... So I run in. I get the sap on Calvish. I'm like, this is great. And then I'm waiting. And Wiz runs in. And he deaths my blind in the opener. And I'm just thinking like... God, this is the second game. And this this is how the fucking game starts. It's like, this is so fucking bad. Like, this is crazy. This is immediate, like, high-level throwing. So I go in. I, and then he deaths blind right here. He deaths the blind off of Wiz. And I get the kidney. I press everything. I get DB'd on it. I'm just like... Let's see. This is so right bad. Now, it's a clean setup on to Calvish. He's going to trade up the Eternal Aegis there immediately. And this is on the World of Warcraft YouTube channel. Now in a paralyze into a leg sweep here. Whiskey Shadow Deaths. Uh, Polly tries to grip Peekaboo there. Trigger on the sweep. So clean setup. Uh, not bad. Trinket there as well. So uh, mm. a little bit of an overlap, but it's not a, that big of a deal. Uh, so far, Peekaboo is going to come out of stealth now. He uses Vendetta, but he's playing that short Vendetta. He gets trapped in weapon. Oh, so I get disarm? Really use anything and then he fists point. this kidney. Yeah. I step kidney him. That shadow or death means he broke the blind by using death. Because when you shadow or death someone, it does damage to yourself. So he actually immune my blind in the opener before I even came out of stealth. So then he immunes my my second kidney shot of the game here, and I'm just like, fuck, that's really bad. Because it's a sass, you only have kidney shots, so you're pretty useless without it. Here comes Zwen, here comes Big. They're running behind Vage here. Kind of killing him. Taking a lot of pressure here. This uh, arm onto Kearney. Calvish getting busted through his karma right now. Taking massive hits. Will trade out a lot of cooldowns with Pikachu now with no trinket for the stun. Okay, right, I got a link there. The trinket spirit link. But this time around, they still have that board shift to fall back on. That's going to be the Jesus Christ. Of as what is going well. on? What is happening in these games? In case, trinket and board shift for sure. But they might kill Kalvish before then. Big damage coming in. Turney spamming up the flash heals. They don't have an interrupt for it. Big down being traded here from both teams in the opening stages of the match. Another leg sweep on a Pigu. Pop up on the Absturge. Can Wiz can't get over here to save? These ages He's here. We're good. Two. Pigu popping that Gladiator's Aegis, but that was the trinket from WizK. Now he won't be able to trinket Void Shift in the future. Peekaboo, a sitting duck here. Dude, the unreal. These are so lucky. It was like... Combo that with a bust. I think it's lights out for Peekaboo here. He's got to be very, very, very... Who dies this game? Do I die? Rolling to the side fiend, punching away the side fiend. Oh, he switched mage because we're like, fuck this. Mage, but he's just got blink stun. He's going to blink out of that kidney. Now that's a kidney Calvish doesn't need to what? worry about. No what is going on here? Three seconds. What, are what are we doing? Gonna do? We're, we're on the mage? Out here. Abster, I faint? The ring of peace and okay, a night fake kite it. Control. Nice read by so, pulling away. I can't even tell what we're doing. We're, we're running, we're, we're hitting blinking mage. Mage Finally, blinks in, in. I got kidney him here. Do we get buff block here? Yeah, he's been dead of sepsis here. I tried to at least. I think I send it. Oh, I kicked him. Oh, yeah, we've been dead of sepsis. Proc him, get block. Bombed it. This is not bad, so we're kind of coming back. So I, 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 I got to... Vendetta steps us on the mage, kick the priest, we force the block, I bombed it, I blind priest, get priest trinket. So we're kind of fighting back here. I mean, this is not terrible. Yeah, hard carrying, exactly. Oh my god. This is another This is another just uh, moronic moment by me. So we get triple feared, and then Carl is screaming that he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. And I think I trinket this fear, and all I do when I trinket the fear is I'm like auto-attacking the fucking mage. I'm like... Maybe I can soak damage or something, and I'm just getting fisted with him too. So that was like really dumb because I, I couldn't even kick the guy because he's immune to everything anyway. So this was like, this was awful right here, well, he I think. Yeah, so I trinket the fear. Try, uh, yo, Carl, I'll save you, bro. I'll save you. I used trinket for you, man. And this idiot is at 100% health as he's freaking out. Leg sweep connects. How much damage do they have? And he gets the wall off. So I'm like, oh, well, I used trinket there. That's not good. They tried to switch I got the pre-faint on the stun, though. We get swapped there, which is good. Cloak 2. Oh my god, bro. This is so... This is just... This is horrendous. I don't know either, man. I don't know. Jesus. still has his trinket, but he has nothing to really pair it with. That's gonna be the scariest thing. Calvis sells a lot of defensive cooldowns. Nuke does not. I'm just back running with evasion. Okay, can you mage? Having to run away, but Rop. the pressure here is a I think I got the shiv here. Chain onto Kearney. Nuke gets kidney shot. Siphon is on him. This is so bad. I don't know who's gonna die here, but this looks like one of us is dying here. It's gonna be Wiz K on the back foot. Absolutely still. I'm trying to get a resell here to stop this next go. In terms of healing is lacking. There's no healing. Oh, I lined this. I lined this stun. He does have his trinket. Got grip, dude. Good. Polymorph secured onto Aegis. Nice. 
and that will be enough for Peekaboo to survive the fate with the Aegis. Now oh yeah, we triggered that. We probably need to. Duke. Big damage incoming. We need to see a detox. Wait, did Carl? What did Carl just trigger? No cooldowns whatsoever. He does have. So I line the stun. I get gripped, and then I faint Aegis. Full polymorph secured onto. And Carl trinkets the full poly. Is this a misplay? Is was this a bad call on Carl's trinket? What do you guys think? Tap surge, immediate trinket. I don't know. That Maybe that's why we lost. Not me, you know. Uh, Who knows? We'll see. Aegis now turning around the pressure onto Nuke. Big damage in. Carl Tron. We'll see. Detox here from Calvish. Remove those poisons off did, I, did I sepsis or oh I have vendetta here? Do we do anything with this? And now, I mean, this game is just so back and forth. I okay. Kind of feel like three and a half minutes. Am I? I think I'm avoiding sweep here or something. Looks like I'm dodging sweep. I got stunned. Do I die in this? That's it. Two seconds of the lead. One second of the lead. The pod. People have ascended. It gets dropped. The combustion damage. There's Carl again. So I actually died in this stun setup here when I st when I trinketed earlier. You know, I probably could have not trinketed in that go that Carl was dying. And instead, when I died, I was like, Carl ran in. And I was like, I don't know if Carl even realized I died because my seed spawned. But I think maybe he did. And he almost saved me. Yeah, because I was dead this during the seed. So he couldn't actually get the Ascendance or Link on me. Yeah, so this was just fucked. Like, first two games, I'd have to say, were completely my fault. I'm like, th these are the worst games I've ever played. I actually was sitting here, I was actually about to start crying. I was so lost and I was so distraught, and I was like, "Damn, we're actually gonna lose completely because of what's happened these last two games." The opener, I break my sap. I didn't get a kitty shot for like fucking a minute. Then this game, my blind's death before I come out of fucking stealth. He fits the first kidney. I wasted trinket during the other go. And I'm just like, oh my god. We're actually going to get 6 owed today. And these guys are on alts. This is crazy. Okay, and then, why they not sub you out then? Because <laughs> we can always bring that shit back, baby. That's why. Okay, so we get to the next game. Sub me out. Oh my god. I was telling the team like, yo, this is fucked, guys. This is totally my bad. I'm sucking. I'm, we're going to lock in and, and do better here. And the team was, they were very, very positive. You know, you know how we watched some of the other teams and they're like, oh my God, bro, you're so shit. You know, you made, you did this wrong, this wrong, this wrong. They didn't do any of that because they knew I fucked everything up. I, I, everything was awful. Nothing was going right. And I was like, okay, we got to use a little more logic here. Okay, I can't just run in and sap the monk and try to blind the priest. It's too risky. He could ward it. He could fade it. He could death it. He could do all sorts of bullshit. So what I need to do is, what do you do? If you need to get a guaranteed sap on one target and blind on the healer, what do you need to do? What would you do? What do you change? Because I, I came up with the idea. It just took me a couple games. I'm like, oh shit, this is what I got to do. And this is the game winner, okay? Sap healer, I mean, sap healer, blind monk, guys. I mean, see, that leaves the monk open. But what you actually do is you sap the monk. And then you cheap shot the healer into blind. Is that insane? Is that insane? You you stun him first, and then he can't move, and he gets blinded, and it's like holy shit, that's fucking, that's nasty. Like, I mean, he could he could prevent that too theoretically, but that's a lot more logical than just trying to sap blind. Because if I just sap the priest, the monk has time to like fork through or do something. You know what I'm saying? That's some insane brainstorming. So we run in, and I'm like, yo, guys, this is what this is the fucking opener right here. All right? So we're down 2-0. We've lost every single game today. We're 0-5. We're, we're not just 0-5. We are, like, bent over getting railed 0-5. All right? So, so much, we go in. It's like, all right, this is it, man. It's game time. I didn't have any coffee. Nothing. And we lock in. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to sprint in. I sap up the Vish. Sap Calvish. Cheap Curdy. Mark for Kidney. Vendetta. Blind. Boom! Finally got the opener. DB, it breaks. And then, and then this bullshit happens. This guy's in a full blind without pressing anything, and I cannot sap the priest. So I, I'm down Vanish now, and I'm like, is this happening again? I'm getting RNG'd by Blizzard. I, I, I'm spamming. It just doesn't go off. Whoa! Whoa! Big hit of damage. Can they get anything? Just nothing. Just nothing. And then we get a DR stun. We have a silence. I'm trying to dot him up, keep the pressure on him. What else? I yeah, actually there. stepped the leg sweep there. I got away. Beautiful fade there Good. On the leg sweep of Calvish there. And then they try to switch with the bus and we live. Ages faint. Good trades. Allow Peekaboo to activate Ages. 
and allow them to basically escape from that first setup with combustion. Got a kitty on Kalvish back here, I think. All like right, right now. See if they can stay strong yep. here. Nice setup on Kalvish. Sheer on a Kearney. So I got a kitty on Kalvish. Car uh, Kearney got kicked, and we got Guardian here too. Still, can they KO him? Guardian Spirit. Ray Can't kill through Guardian. Trying to cut through it. Vendetta's coming up pretty soon, but here comes damage from Kalvish. Fists of Fury are flying. Peekaboo evasions. He's I evasion during the Is weapons. Is Whiskey going to be able to hold on? It's match point. They face elimination. Was in spider form. Crawling around. Here, if they want to earn enough points to qualify into the circuit, can the All right, good for Mook. Off the reverse sweep. They've been in this position. Show the content right now. Okay. I don't know how their fans don't have heart attacks trying to support them. I'm having a heart attack right now. We get a kidney. He disarms the kidney here. I mean, this ain't great. But I gotta say. I think that reset. I made it. I have to wait and see. This is basically. I mean, Golden Guardians had the best start you could ever have. Yeah. Such an aggressive opener. I got it. I did it finally. Plays, fading the leg sweep. Yeah, yeah. And we he dodged his first sweep. Done, so I feel like Golden Guardians have been asked for a better start. Yeah, uh, we got everything we want. He ports. They're scared. I, I think I try to. Okay, look. I, I'm, I'm going to think of right now exactly. I'm looking at the situation. They both step back because they know I have kidney shot. I definitely. I probably most likely get a shadow step kidney right now. And I, I think I send the vendetta. I, but I don't know who I'm going to shadow step at this point because no one's near them and they're behind the pillar. But I'm assuming I somehow get there. That's what I, that's what I think is going on. Okay, I'm going right. I'm back. Oh, I get a re. I got knocked. Oh, I stepped the mage. Gee. <laughs> TJ, think about prime step. Instead, I get the re stealth. I get knocked out. Jump wide. Step mage. Garou gets immune by the trinket. Double Nova. Double fear. Switch to Carl. Wow, that really was not what I was. That was not looking good right there. I thought that was okay. He then what? Find a so Carl, does he trinket wall this? Carl gets the wall. Carl just. What did Carl just trinket? Target. Here it is. Big stun combustion. DR leg sweepy trinkets. All right. Good trinket on the DR sweep. Good trinket. We get robbed out now. I think I back came through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in there. I'm on Calvish right now. I'm like, it's game time, baby. And I kidney him and I get sheeped immediately on it. Okay. Oh, we're kind of killing him. We've got a full fear on Kearney, which is good. Could just be lights out if they have cross crowd control on WizK. I, I, I swear I do something good here soon. I have to. And uh, it looks like he will be the target of choice. Calvish rolls over. Oh, pre flesh. Nice. Or a flesh. Nice pre flesh by the Sturge. I got another kidney here. This is a weak kidney. Fake kidney. I think next kidney, I go in. I let him know. I get stunned here. We're fine. Uh, and, oh, yeah. This was actually a big stun because I thought Carl was going to die because he had no trinket and shit. But they actually decided to switch me and he, they they used stun and the mage combust here, which was terrible for them. Because I was fine. I had every button. I got an easy cloak off grip. And then I'm like, yo, this is fire because they're scared now. And no leg sweep available just yet. Calvish now taking huge damage full blind. Calvish on the right. I got the blind. So I get the blind on Kearney as Calvish is dying here. So he's running away. And then I think here, do. I think I also vanished trying to sap this, but Carl actually put the, the priest in combat with this totem here. Carl single-handedly actually almost throwing the game from what it looks like. Uh, so. How is he going to respond? so I'm vanished. I'm spamming sap. I'm like, yo, I got this sap. I got this sap. And then obviously I can't sap because, you know, the root totem. But I got the grow. We get guardian here, which is good. I'm leg stepped. I fainted this though. We're fine. Do I evasion off this? No, I just Aegis. Aegis kidney. Holy f one HP, he gets Holy shit, we gotta replay that. Look how close on to dying. I hit one percent. So I, I did press the evasion because he's on global right now, trying to touch death me, and he trinketed offensively. But I evasioned at the perfect moment. This was completely calculated. I, I evasion specifically right now because I knew he wanted to trinket to kill me. So with this evasion up, I avoided the whirling dragon punch, forcing my teammate Wiz into the position to life swap me. And then, this gave us our kill window solely because of this offensive evasion, you could say, right here. So we get the swap. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is it. This is good. And then, we set it up right here. How do we set it up? What do we do? I got Vendetta, Sepsis, Shiv. I get a kidney. Kearney's long. I'm disarmed. I, oh, yeah. I get disarmed. Trinket the disarm. Kidney. And I saw that there was CC on the Priest. I actually didn't see this. I got really lucky. But Wiz CC the Priest at the right fucking moment. So I was able to get three globals off before I smoke bomb. I think I kidneyed. 
Shiv, Vendetta, Sepsis, then bombed. Trigger, Kinney, Vendetta, Sepsis, Shiv, bomb. And then, so he actually raised him, but he doesn't have Guardian. And then Calvish actually could have lived here because he's Fist of Furying, but I literally have an entire Sepsis on him and his Ray is negative, and they couldn't tell how negative the Ray is, but he could have diffused here or like dispelled or something or like Fort Brood. But instead, the ray ends and he fucking dies. And we brought it back 2 1. Yeah, so I think this sepsis. You know, I swear this sepsis did like, like 50, 60,000 damage. 60k sepsis. I mean. This is what you live for, the thrill of it. Jesus Christ! Yeah, so that was very, very good. That was very good that we brought that back. That was solid. And then we go to Tolveron here. Okay, it was after this game, I was like, yo, I've done the same opener to these people every single game. I'm going to switch it up. So this game, I actually got a sap on the priest and a kidney on the monk. Because the mage ran and got combat, but the priest like targeted the wrong guy or something. So I actually got a sap on him, because Calvish was in combat. But this was really lucky, so I got a full sap, and we get the Kitty Vendetta Sepsis instantly, and I was like, yo, this is insane. Because uh, the game has already started. Absurd has already counterspelled. Uh, yeah, we got Trinket, uh, Aegis there and shit, like, super Pikibu good. Setting up for the leg sweep, full leg sweep on Peekaboo. How are they going to deal with this? Bring and then I'm able to sit the first sweep, too, because uh, Carl had grounding for the first combust. So their first big combust leg sweep go, we got out of it with using virtually nothing, and we already forced the Trinket and shit. They can't grip him away. Man, it's just to tank it, just with that healing tide totem in the middle and a faint. This is a and then I think I'm running in. I'm like getting aggressive on him. Through a leg sweep, Vendetta is rolling Calvish in trouble here in game number four. How are they going to survive Peekaboo's threat? Well, we're going to be okay. That reset, man. Calvish right now, down to 50 percent health. Got wrong. I run into ring here. Time to get aggressive. Nice ring. Got stun. I faint for it though. It's a solid. Can he off this? Peekaboo, but they're not really getting too much damage out. Unfortunately, Calvish. It's fine. Really cool down. Now time to get aggressive with the weapons of order. What's when? It's now or never. He has but weapons out. I'm like hitting the mage. What am I doing on mage? We switched mage because Mogus. Oh wait! Oh wait! This was fucking nasty. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so like I'm sitting here. Okay, let me rewind. This game ends really quick here. So like the monk runs away. We decided to hit the mage a little bit since the monk has no trigger because we got it in the opener because the opener was so good. Um, I'm on the mage, so Kearney's probably thinking that I'm actually gonna try to commit to the mage. And then Calvis is like rotting away here to whiz damage solely. And then since he has no trinket here. Wiz is like, yo, we can just kill the monk, and then we actually get a step kidney bomb into a DR cheap shot, and we kill him before he can press Karma, Fort Brew, or Diffuse, or the Priest can Guardian or anything, or grip him. But I'm not sure how we got this. We get the step kidney, step kidney, and the silence covers it, so we couldn't Guardian or grip him. So in this kidney bomb, made sure to not gap it, and the mage blinks in and has no Dragon's Breath 2 for a second, which is insane. So we get a DR cheap off the kidney and kill him without any button used. So a lot of shit really lined up for that guy to die right there. That was extremely primed. That was very ideal. Usually that that doesn't happen for us, but we brought back the 2-2. Two -two. We're in the 2-2 two -two situation. We watched this next game back and you're really bad, but luckily Wizard to save us. Alright, listen, Wiz K went fucking huge this game and Carl did some really good shit too, okay? So, like, we get in, and they comp swap. So, they play their main comp. They go back to Sub Rogue, Fire Mage, Holy Priest, as opposed to the Monk. So, this is, like, this is the matchup. You know, this is it. All right? Watch this bomb go. Why do you open Mage here? What? Listen, I'll explain it to you right now. I'll explain it right now. Ven thinks I'm going to use Sephus. Is this guy serious? What, are we not senders or something? What do we not go the distance? What do we what do we lay up on par fives? Come on. Of course I'm playing Vendetta Reset Legendary. Of course. Obviously. Yeah. And uh, that's the Golden Guardian. That's when they're at their peak, to be honest. When Golden Guardians just have a lot of pressure, they're swapping. We seem to rise up sometimes. All right. Okay, so the idea here is like So we get double DB and I'm watching my teammates just get absolutely clobbered. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, I gotta wait a sec to open because they always do this like double opener shit. And I theoretically could have waited a little longer. But what I do here is I go wrote the mage because I thought about this. I thought about this. Okay, listen to this. Listen to this. Okay, look. If you're fighting rogue mage holy priest and they open on your teammates, what what is the most logical way to peel? Like what what could you even start to do? There's a holy priest, a rogue with with ward, and a mage with combust who is playing the trinket. So like I thought about it. I can't chief shot the rogue because he has the ward right. 
And then if I try to open with Disarm on the Rogue, it, it like the Rogue can't do anything, but I still get CC'd and the Mage is free to Sheep and shit. But if I, if I open on the Mage, if I Cheap Shot the Mage, it doesn't do anything because he just blinks it. And then he's immune. And there's no point to Cheap Shot the Priest because the, it doesn't stop anything. Because the Priest is, you know, he's not, he's not the one killing our teammates. So I was like, okay, I should Garrote the Mage because when a Mage is Garroted, he can't do anything. He can't do anything at all. Because if I cheap shot him, he can blink. And if I if I try to disarm Rogue, it's kind of sketch. And the mage is still doing shit, getting sheeps. And I'm like, okay, I'll shut the mage down. That's what I'm thinking. Because that's like the only for sure, like, yeah, this will work. All right. So I try to I try to just grow up the mage. That's what I do. I, I wait a sec. I wait a sec. It's hard to do against Rogue Mage Priest. I see him go whiz. And I'm like, once they commit a little bit of damage, I open with the grow mage. I grow mage. And, uh, and I don't know what my team's talking about. Like, I don't know what I'm saying here. We'll see. Priest, Dragon Burst, come on, down. So I grow I get stunned by the priest. And then Wiz is cheap shot. Carl is sheeped. I'm stunned. And then, huh? This looks pretty fucking bad because it looks like it look it looks like we're about to get triple feared. And I'm actually going to get three v one. But is this avoidable? Can I even? Is, is there much to even? Should I, should I just wait in stealth or something? So we're going after Wiz. Kid. Yep, double fear, triple fear, and now I get full kidneyed, and their mind games can busting me. So here, Carl's. I, I'm like, okay. I have to Trinket Cloak here because there's no fucking chance I'm surviving this shit. So I use Trinket. I use Trinket Cloak Faint and uh, Calvish actually commits Blades here. And then I also Vanish because I didn't want Calvish to duel me and kill me here. Because if I'm this low, he can actually kill me through Evasion with Shadow Step like 7 point of his, you know? But look how much damage I took. Look how fast that was. Bullshit. Watch over time. Look how fast I die. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I get the Cloak and I vanished. And I vanished. I, I, I vanished. I had to. And then we start dotting mage, and I'm like, okay, well, this is kind of fucked, because they're running. And I'm like, oh, maybe we can go rogue, maybe we can go rogue, because we got to turn the pressure on instantly. So I run in, I try to do something, Calvish disarms me here. So I couldn't get a kidney. So we get a double fear, I try to I try to get this kidney shot here. And he vanished, he committed vanish. so I'm like, okay, this is not that bad. So this kidney shot's not as scary, because they don't have combustion shit, right? So I sit this one, and they fucked up the, uh, the orbs. So I'm on the mage here, I kick the mage. We switch mage, because the rogue's running, right? And then, and then, I may, I, what are these idiots talking about? I switch mage, and I send the Vendetta Sepsis at this moment, when it's like, there's not much CC, but everyone's kind of split up, but the mage is caught here in Beijing. So my timing, actually, on the Vendetta Sepsis with Shiv was so perfect, because on the last tick of Sepsis, I proc the mage's cauterize, and he blocked. Actually, wow. that's what happened. That nuked is by himself. The nuke taking huge amounts of damage. And there it is. And there it is right there. Because we got the silence midway through the grip. And that was, you know, just the on 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 top of the, you know, I random situation. Fire. And the ice block here for nuke. And that is so that was really big for us that that happened. So I'm hitting the rogue here. I'm just hitting the rogue. I'm just doing damage. So they baited Wizkay to use life grip there. Okay, I wasted smoke bomb. Smoke bomb didn't do much. I was like, oh, maybe we got crazy pressure on the rogue. But real, yo, rogue curian pots, rogue curian pots too. Okay, these guys were hella nervous too, so it was all good. So I'm curious to see if they can get this. So I'm sitting here. Do I disarm rogue here? And I disarm his dance. I disarmed his dance. Look, he's danced, disarmed. I literally got it instantly. That was right there. Okay. Nuke then we get db with no call, chastise, no on game and he trinkets point. to kidney me. Risky, but he's got to do it. Crap patrols the whole team. Can and then Wiz life swaps me, actually, right before Calvish duels me, which is huge. So I go back to, like, full HP. Can they stabilize? Wiz can void shift speed. And then I, once I realized that he committed trinket duel there, I'm like, yo, this is, like, really good. We can just run down the fucking mage. Now Calvish is shadow stepping away from the fight. Still has that smoke bomb threat. Still has combustion. So I actually we go okay we both reset. Position here could be game. I get him stealth. Gonna restealth. Calvish in stealth with Holy Ward getting ready for the setup. They could go after Absurd. He's just out in the open right now. If they want to stun lock bust him, Peekaboo is gonna open up on nuked in the back line. Calvish gets rooted by Absurd's totem. Absurd's pre flesh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Look, so I open up on the mage. I open up on the mage here. The rogue is on our pillar. So I go mage. Because Mage is still a good target to go, by the way. He has no block and no cot because of the play I made earlier, forcing his block cot, by the way. And then he, Carl and Wiz are saying we should go rogue here. Rogue, no trinket, no cloak. I I I I I think I, I think I made a game-winning play here because what I did was 
You're just six yards from me out of grounding range. I went I went aggressive. I go aggressive here, and I just realized that Wiz makes a play. Because Wiz understands what I'm doing. Wiz is on the same page as me. Okay, look, so... I open, I step into, so I'm fucking in there. I grow, I think I cheap the thing off, and I'm about to kid in the mage. And I get CC'd. Wiz K gets cheap shot, and then as this dispel happens, I get step kidney bombed, but Wiz, I believe, trinket life grips me at the same time. Does he trinket life grip me here? Is that, is that what happens? Oh, God! Trinket... Trinket cheap shot from behind the box to grip? Are you kidding me? Let's watch that back. Let's watch that again. Holy fuck. Look at look at where I am. Look at this. This man can't even see me. He can't even see me behind the box. I'm out here, baby. I'm out here. I'm, I'm in the fucking mix. I'm doing what I can. I mean, this could have gone so bad with a Nova or something. The Mage has can bust up literally right now. Rogue doesn't have that much damage, but Mage and Priest is enough to kill me. So... He cheap shots him back here. I'm disoriented, and Wiz Trinket grips the bomb. Oh, God. And I'm in there, and I'm right back in there, baby, all right? Look how fast I'm back in there. Oh, my God. And then we Vendetta the Rogue. What the fuck were we doing? Who called to go Rogue there? What a horrible fucking play. Sometimes though, it's good to it's good to bait Vendettas out because of the cooldown resets that we're using. So, I think we went rogue because. Oh, Carl pre earthens this go. Oh wait, this is good. So they switched. They were trying to switch Carl here, and he had earthen down. And I think I also. So Calvish gets the uh, kid here, and do I? I got cheap shot. I got a kid on Calvish off that. And we're fine. And we soak the things too. So now I think I, I think I'll go back mage after after this. Okay, so we'll go mage here. But dead is up in fifteen. So we try to we try to close line Calvish here. I go I go this side, we goes this way. So he can't read. So I have my trigger back now, so they can't really kill me. Pre faint this go. They can't do shit to me. That was actually a nice faint. That was good. Ages two. Step kid of the road through evasion. Oh, and he vanished too. So Calvish actually vanishes out, which is one of his last lines of defense. Vendetta's available for Peekaboo. It could put that on Kearney. He's got this is ridiculous. What's got a pre pan on that go? Which go? Who got panned? No trinket. No cloak of shadows. But it looks like oh, he panned the mage. I see. That was good panda. That was good panda right here on the mage. We can see. All right. Both already there. Reset and trooper as well. All right. So we're here. He's got no trinket. Some options here for the golden guardians. How are three and a half men going to set up? Okay. So we get, uh, we get double feared into Ring of Frost. Carl trinket walls this go. On this kidney. Trinket grounding wall. Good. And then right here, I get sheeped again. I, I, I don't know who was saying to go mage. It might have been Wiz, but I had Vendetta Sepsis up. Should we do our sheep? Here we go. So I get off this disarm. I go. I kicked him on shifting too. I kicked him on shifting so he couldn't blink the kidney as well. Or he couldn't blink out of my whatever the fuck I did to him. Because if I didn't kick, shifting locks you on blink. Double fear, double ring. X gets cast. So I kicked him. I Vendetta shift sepsis. And I think we kill him through a... What is this? We have a silence. What are you gonna do? He's gonna oh my god. Yeah, he, he couldn't shrink into silence. So he couldn't guardian him before the seed procs. With the Vendetta sepsis, I get triple DR blinded by Calvish. And then I trinketed the kidney to try to attack the seed. I ambushed it like one time. And then he topped it. And then I got dueled. That's it. They the and then... No and somehow the fucking seed dies. Is it shifting nature? There's no fucking way. Shifting has to fucking block you on blink. There's no fucking way. Shifting doesn't lock you on blink. Well, regardless... The fact that I kicked the shifting, he couldn't fucking kite out. He couldn't kite out. That's what fucking happened. Regardless, I, the, I, I did what I did because no one else is there to kick it. I was there and I killed him because of it because I got the Vendetta Sepsis. And that's what's going on. And that was fire. And then he dies. It doesn't look like it. Golden and the seed Golden died and I'm in duel. Beautiful stuff coming out from these guys. They and we get the reverse sweep. sweep. 
Yeah, we get the reverse sweep after three and a half man after Gotta all these together. horrible situations and scenarios that just went down just look at this this is how it started this is how the series starts right here this is how it starts i sap calvish i blind i break my sap my vendetta doesn't go off he blinks my shit he disarms me behind the box i mean it's just a fucking tragedy to us reverse sweeping right that's how it happens that's just how it is baby this guy's rank one i mean that's just how it is baby that's how we do it <laughs>